Copperheads win this one, their second win in a row, six to one over the Xenia Scouts. And, you know, quite honestly, Kevin, two consecutive games that have been terrific for this team. The first thing you have to pitching performance, not only of the starter, Jake Harper, but of the back end of the bullpen. Uh, they've been lights out all year, but uh, starting obviously to see him get out here and look strong here tonight. Pitching was good. The offense did enough. They scored five of the six runs in one inning. It was back in the third. They got some help from an error. Uh, went down as a hit, but it was more of an error out in center field to start that inning. It was a triple for Mike Fish, and from there, the offense just kind of exploded. It really did. That, uh, that third inning was huge, and we saw the team bat around in that inning. And like you said, that play from Mike Fish kind of sparked everything, and we just saw the offense kind of take off, and they were able to build up a lead uh, that was big enough that you know, the pitching could just settle down and keep the game under control from there, and that's exactly what they did. After the game, we caught up with both Josh Rader and Jake Harper as they talked about how they performed and how well the team performed in this victory. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you go through a stretch like every season where you're just going to lose a few games. Everyone's not playing their best, and we had a point where most of the top floor of our guys were getting sick and stuff. So, I mean, I think everyone's back to healthy and everyone's right on top of their games right now. Uh, a little bit of everything. Um, you know, some games it's – more fastball slider. Some games it's fastball curveball. You know, tonight I felt like I had everything. So, you know, just I've been feeling good. Um, just working on all my stuff, getting my work in, and you know, just doing what I need to do to stay in shape and stay healthy. So, following the victory, Southern Ohio goes to 20 and 15. They clinch a playoff spot. And as for right now, they still sit in that fifth spot in the GLSCL standings. But there is work to be done. They have four games remaining. Two of them coming on coming tomorrow as they take on the Grand Lake Mariners at Grand Lake. If you want to listen into the game, you can hear Kevin and I on the broadcast. Just go to CopperheadBaseball.com and you can listen into both. The first begins at 2 o'clock, so tune in for that. And also, make sure you check into all of our social media, Facebook page, Twitter page at Go Copperheads, and our YouTube page. Search Copperheads Baseball and you can find all kinds of great stuff right there. But with that being said, he's been Kevin Noonan, I've been Ryan Boyd, and this it's been a Copperheads recap of a 6-1 win over the Xenia Scouts.